Good morning folks, it is Thursday morning the 31st of December, New, New Year's Eve. Hard to believe we're at this stage already, uh, but we're going to come together and we're going to read God's word uh, again. This is the chapter from Proverbs which probably is the best known chapter simply because of one of the quotes which we will read this morning from it, um, but it comes right at the very start. But this chapter, let's split it in two because there's quite a lot in this one. So this morning we're going to read verses 1 to 20 and then tomorrow we'll go verses 21 to 35 um, on New Year's Day. But let's start off this Thursday morning by reading God's word together. So this is Proverbs 3 verse 1. My child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart. You do, If you do this, you will live many years and your life will be very satisfying. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Wrap them deep within your heart. Then you will find favour with both God and people and you will earn a good reputation. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Honour the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Then he will fill your barns with grains and your vats will overflow with good wine. My child, don't reject the Lord's discipline and don't be upset when he corrects you. For the Lord corrects those he loves, just as a father corrects a child in whom he delights. Joyful is the person who finds wisdom, the one who gains understanding. For wisdom is more profitable than silver and her wages are better than gold. Wisdom is more precious than rubies. Nothing can compare with her. She offers you long life in her right hand and riches and honour in her left hand. She will guide you down delightful paths. All her ways are satisfying. Wisdom is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Happy are those who hold her tightly. By wisdom the Lord founded the earth. By understanding he created the heavens. By his knowledge, the deep foundations of the earth burst forth and the dew settles beneath the night sky. Amen. And let's end there. In Proverbs chapter 2, it talked about how wisdom was so important. And in Proverbs chapter 3, we're told whose wisdom is important. It's the wisdom which comes from the Lord. And probably Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 if anyone's going to quote, if anyone's going to quote anything from Proverbs, that's the, the one thing that we usually can quote. Maybe it's in the version, trust in the Lord with all your hearts and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. It's a verse that many people would have learned in Sunday school and just about teaching us to rely upon God. But as you look through that, there are so many other things it talks about. Probably one of the hardest lessons to learn at times is the lesson which comes in verse 11. My child, don't reject the Lord's discipline. Don't be upset when he corrects you. For the Lord corrects those he loves, just as a father corrects a child in whom he delights. We, whenever we think about that, none of us like to think about God correcting us or disciplining us. We don't like that thought because we think of God as a loving God. But think of a parent, a grandparent, an aunt or an uncle. Think of yourself in the role wherever you are the adult and there's a child. And think of that child doing something wrong. Think of the obvious, think of the child sticking the hand into the fire or doing something which you know is going to hurt the child. And you tell the child, no, don't do that. But maybe the child keeps on doing something at times. And then at times, yeah, we will let the child do something knowing that they will fall over or they will trip, knowing that they will hurt because we feel it's the only way they will learn. And we say afterwards, I told you that would happen, but you didn't listen. Uh, discipline can be a hard thing, can't it? 
but it's about teaching us how we how we follow, how we walk, what we do. It's the same in our relationship with God. God wants to teach us how to live with him, teach us how to follow him. Sometimes we get it right, sometimes we get it wrong. Sometimes he does discipline us. He chastises us, he tells us off. We need to learn from that and learn how to grow closer to him. Because it talks about how wisdom is the source of, of, of fruitfulness as such. It talks about it in earthly terms about wealth. Uh, we, we know that um, wisdom is not physical wealth, but it's spiritual wealth. It's a wealth of a, of a, a rich relationship with God. And that's what we strive for. So as we draw to the end of 2020, and as we head towards 2021, let's us make an effort to learn more about God, to learn more about our relationship with God and what it means to have that relationship with him, what it means to know his discipline, because then we know we are loved by him, that he cares about us, that he wants us to go closer to him. Let us resolve to, to be open to him at all times and to what he teaches and guides us and directs us. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for this day. Again, Lord, we, 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 we wake up to a cold and crisp morning, but it's a beautiful morning, Lord, because it's a, a day that you have given to us, a day whenever we can learn more about you, whenever we can take time to talk to you and to learn from you. A day whenever, Lord, you can correct us, put a hand on, on our shoulder and show us the right way to go. And we pray for that. Father, that you would keep us on the right path. Whenever there is a choice in front of us, that we would ask you, which way should I go? And then that we would then listen to you and follow that path. But Lord, even when we get on that wrong path, Help us to quickly learn, to quickly say sorry, to turn back to you and to step across onto the way that we should go, walking hand in hand with you. Lord, Father, thank you that you do want to walk hand in hand with us, guiding us and directing us at each junction in life. Thank you for the year that has passed and for the year that lies ahead. We, we give it over into your hands and ask that you would guide us and direct us. So Heavenly Father, we thank you now and always, in Christ's name, amen. Folks, as you this evening say goodbye to the year of 2020 and hello to the year of 2021, I trust that you stay safe and well. Uh, it has been a difficult year for so many people. And please, as you take time, just reflect upon that and pray for those families who have struggled and who continue to struggle at this time. Just ask God to help them and to be near to them. And ask God to be near all of us and help all of us as we look to how best to live our lives for him in 2021. So thank you for joining with us. See you next year. Take care. God bless. Bye.